Weasel News. The best in political news and analysis. Hard-hitting stories, attractive news anchors with great hair, and Weasel Chopper 4. The Weasel News Chopper is there on top of the action. This is Weasel News. All right, let's wrap this up. I need a drink. We are already rolling, Tom. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. Okay, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not right on the teleprompter. Just read the prompter. I can't read it. There's no words on it. Okay, ready? Go. To play us out. What does that mean? To end the show? Yeah, for the credits. All right, go. Tom, we're rolling. Just go. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today, and I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. This fucking thing sucks. Tom, we are live. Cut the feed. Cut the commercial. you're back around and making time for your mental health? So, pal, what's the source of conflict this time? Well, uh, I had another little slip up. I, I flew off the handle and swore during a live broadcast. The producer told me I had to go back to rehab or I'd be fired. I had no choice. It's out of my control. Out of control, no choice. These are things you tell yourself to justify your behaviors. And you sometimes feel you're not responsible for your actions. It's all denial. Anything else you want to tell me? Uh, I'm in the middle of a divorce. My, my wife wants to take everything. My daughter won't return my phone calls. I'm three years from retirement and they want to fire me. Well, I am Weasel News. The, the ratings would tank without Tom Wallet. You don't know the pressure I'm under. God forbid I should have a drink now and then. You feel the need to explain your decisions. Take responsibility. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. Bunch of new age hippie horseshit. I did my time, now put me back on the air. It sounds like you're in a bar right now, are you drinking? No, I'm watching TV. Okay, whatever, look Tom, the network execs are pissed, they don't want you back behind the news desk. You son of a bitch, I stayed in that shit hole for three months, said I could keep my job if I sobered up. Relax, you still work for Weasel News, you're just not the lead anchor anymore. We're gonna set you up with a news van so you can cover community events, local businesses, and street crime. You gotta be shitting me. I'm not a fucking stringer. I'm an anchor man. Take it or leave it, Tom. Come by the office Monday morning and pick up your gear. Shit.
how are you? I'm doing well. I actually work for uh, the San Andreas Post, so I was just kind of curious what you guys were finding. Uh, I'm just getting some B-roll. The uh, producer wants me to do a story on street crime and Sandy Shore, so... Yeah, I seem to see a lot of that. I just got uh, assigned to do county jobs for the city, and this place is insane. Yeah, tell me about it. What kind of stuff you seen so far? Uh, everything from murders to helicopters being stolen. The police helicopter got stolen. Jesus Christ. Someone drove up with a flatbed truck like that tow truck over there, but the, somehow got the helicopter on there and drove off. I don't know if the police have no control or if the people are all insane. Have you figured this out yet? Uh, I've seen the police do some pretty insane things as well. Must be something in the water up here. over in the sea over there. Oh, Jesus. Is that where their water supply comes from? Uh, I believe so. Uh, that would explain a lot. <laughs> it would. Well, Tom, it's been great talking with you. Uh, you as well. Be careful out there. Uh, you too. Sir, are you with the press? Hi uh, there, how are you? Well, I am having a very bad day, but this is a perfect opportunity to show forgiveness. I'm sorry to hear about your day. How can I help you? Absolutely. Are you live with that camera right now? No, uh, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to go live right? anymore. I uh, had a little slip up and swore on the air. Well, I can understand that, but I surely, much as the Lord finds forgiveness for people, I'm sure your anchors can find forgiveness for you, and you can go live right now. It is important, sir. I implore you to go live. Uh, let, let me make a quick phone call. It's, it's Tom. Uh, can you can you let me go live? I I, I I won't swear. Yeah, I got a story here for you. Uh, all, all right. Uh, all right, I got the go ahead. Absolutely. Will you point that holy instrument of broadcasting right at me, and just let me tell my tale. Uh, all right, uh, we're rolling. Go ahead. Brothers and sisters out there, this is the Reverend Jim Jones of the Church of the Holy Hangover, located on Route 68. And I've had a travesty, I say a travesty, happen to me today. You see, everyone, I come to you forward live to tell you that the devil is walking the streets of Blaine County. Yes, he is. He may go by the name of Beelzebub. He may go by the name of the Fallen One. But I am pretty sure that today he is going by the name of Jimmy Carroll. He is hidden among us as a little old man with a pink shirt. But you know what he is? He is a thief. He is a thief of your soul. He is a thief of your salvation. And he is a thief of my vehicle. And I implore all of you God-bearing Christians out there that if you see my Testarossa out there, a yellow Testarossa with a license plate that says Save Souls, you form the Holy Army. You grab your pitchforks, you grab your torches, and you go and you find him. And you bring that Jimmy Carroll, a.k.a. the devil, to justice, for he needs to be brought down. That is what I am saying, brothers and sisters. Now, everybody... Bow your heads and pray with me. We all say, dear Heavenly Father, may you find it in your will to strike Jimmy Carroll down with a bolt of lightning, send the cockroaches and frogs onto his doorstep. 
May you cover his horrible boils that will hurt forever, for it is a sin to steal from the Reverend Jim Jones. That is a violation of not only the man's law, but the holy law itself, the Ten Commandments. Can I get an amen? Uh, I amen. amen. All righty. All right, you make sure that goes on every broadcast there, sir. Uh, I'll do my best, sir. I'm so sorry to hear about your car. Absolutely, and may you uh, be blessed and have a blessed day. Uh, you as well. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, apparently there was a Ferrari stolen by an older man named Jimmy Carroll. Thank you.